Hi everybody, I'm Mike Tango Bravo and this is uh, Costa Flores Organic Vineyard in Mendoza, Argentina. Uh, Argentina is on a complete quarantine and lockdown as I'm sure many of you are in different parts of the world. Uh, today I wanted to share with you uh, one simple fun idea about how we might be able to test for the coronavirus at home. Um, this has to do with uh, one of the new symptoms that have been detected recently which has to do with smell so we know that the symptoms that everybody talks about and i know you're all sick of hearing about this uh, the coronavirus is you know sore throat uh, fever uh, cough and uh, trouble breathing but uh, just recently a few reports have coming out saying that a majority of people that have been infected with covid 19 are also uh, demonstrating what's called anosmia or hyposmia. This is they've uh, lost their sense of smell or diminished sense of smell. It's affected the olfactory sense. And so I thought, okay, we could certainly come up with a way to test at home our sense of smell over time. And you might be asymptomatic with the virus meaning you don't have any of these other symptoms, uh, which congratulations on that, you're not sick. Um, but if you do notice that all of a sudden you lose your sense of smell, maybe it means that you are a carrier of the virus and just need to be more careful about uh, the people that you're interacting with in case we're still contagious in that situation. So that's what this is about. Um, to be clear, there are all kinds of reasons that people lose their sense of smell or, or lack uh, a developed sense of smell. It doesn't have to be the coronavirus, um, but that might be one thing that we could uh, start testing for. Um, so that caveat said, how can we go about uh, evaluating our sense of smell? Well, um, you can buy on, online these really cool kits that are packaged with different types of scents, uh, different aromas. Let's say apple. This is a, let's see. I don't know what that is. Uh, sort of a vinegar thing. These are uh, different types of aromas that you can buy. This is what sommeliers, wine tasters, uh, learn to train with, and uh, food uh, tasters. And basically, it's all about developing a vocabulary about smells. So a lot of people say to me, they say, Mike, uh, I like drinking wine, but I don't have a nose for wine. People ask me, what does this wine smell like? And you say, ah, it smells like wine. Well, uh, to that I'd say it's simply a, a lack of vocabulary, right? Words that we use to identify certain things. Um, you recognize this when people will say, oh, I know that smell, I know what it is, I just can't put my finger on it. Uh, it means your nose is working fine, um, you just have a lack of vocabulary. So one thing that we can do is uh, have practice with different scents, um, like these types of kits. Uh, but you can also you know, go into your pantry and get things like coffee beans, um, any kind of spices. So like I have some black cardamom. Um, some mango powder, you know, any kind of aromatic spices that you might have is a really good one. Um, and you could also use things uh, like cleaning products, maybe a detergent, uh, a toothpaste, uh, shampoo, anything that has a smell to it. Uh, prepare different types of jars or be, have blindfolded and have somebody ask you to smell things. Um, and and basically, this is a really good way to test ourselves. But of course, the best way is with wine, because wine has such a, a complex profile of aromas. So I'm not gonna get into the whole uh, explanation of wine tasting. If you're interested, I recommend you go to winefolly.com. Uh, my friend Madeline has a full set of uh, books and videos that tells you everything you wanna know about wine. But, uh, Basically, what we want to do is first uh, take a first smell. What's the first thing that comes to mind? Uh, plums, dried tomatoes, uh, cloves, different spices. 
twirl it around a bit. What other ideas pop into your mind that uh, as long as they're real things, it doesn't have to be food, right? Uh, it might be a leathery thing, it might be whatever it is, as long as it's not wet unicorns. Um, bring some air through the wine and basically that's how you're going to do your wine tasting. So what my challenge is, what I recommend you do to make sure that we know whether or not we've been infected with COVID-19, with the coronavirus, is every day, at lunch, at dinner, and probably for the first three or four days to do a proper baseline, you should also do it at breakfast, do a proper wine tasting, seven or eight wines, that you want, or different tastes that you want to do. I recommend just go ahead and open several wines at once so you can compare them. Right? One really good way is to say, well, I don't know what I'm picking up, but smell two different wines. Right? Are they different? If you can tell the difference, your nose is working. If you're lacking the descriptor, it's just a word for it. So, uh, enjoy and uh, salud. And if you want access to more information, I'll put it below uh, where you can get some really good spices and where you can get more. Cheers.